Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to change the two belts, there's one and two, on this 2003 Dodge Intrepid. This is the 2.7, it is a little bit difficult to get to, but we can get it done. Okay, so to start off, there is a 15 millimeter nut on this pulley. Let me see if I can grab something to show you. Right there, right there. And you're gonna need to use a 15 millimeter wrench. And what I've always done is grab my wrench, slide this on the end, like, like so, to give me better leverage. And then there is a 13 millimeter nut right above on that little bracket down there. See right under the um, cable? So for that, you're gonna need a very long extension with a 13 millimeter and cut it, come at it at an angle through here. You should see it right down there. And then once you get those loose, that pulley, this pulley right here is gonna become loose and it'll give your belt a bunch of slack for you to be able to take it off. Okay, so you just got the belt off. You can see that the uh, pulley is pretty loose right there. So this is for the crankshaft, power steering, idler, and alternator. So yeah, once you get that real loose, you want to slide it off the top of this pulley and just snake it right out. Next stop is going to be the air conditioning belt right there. Okay, so on the AC belt, see two 13 millimeter bolts right there and right there that need to be loosened. I recommend getting one of these uh, flexi headed ratchets, long ones, picked mine up from Harbor Freight, with a 13 millimeter socket to loosen those. And then you're gonna need a half inch drive ratchet to insert into the square cutout that's right in here. And once you have your ratchet inserted, you just need to push down, which loosens the tensioner, and you can slowly slide the belt off. It's just like this. Now, oh yeah, I'd love to show you guys, but I need two hands for this. Okay, so now that I have the belt loosened, just need to snake it out. There we have it. One and two. Okay, so I'm starting to get the new belt on, and what I recommend doing is getting it over the tensioner pulley and over the crankshaft first because it's going to be a bit difficult to use the wrench to pull this down than trying to slide the belt up here. So instead, you're going to slide it on the air conditioning pulley to make it easier. Okay, so here I have the new belt on and I verified on the diagram that I put it on correctly and just did a quick look around make sure that it's on all three now I'm using my 13 millimeter my long flexi head ratchet to tighten two 13 millimeter bolts okay now for the second belt I'll be snaking it down around the crankshaft coming up around the alternator and then figure out which way is easier from there Okay, so I did have a little bit of difficulty just because uh, when the belt comes, it's in one of these weird loop things, you know. So I stretched it out a little bit, just, you know, hung it on something and put some weight down. And I got it around everything, you know, via the diagram. And then holding it up here, I was able to, I don't know if you can really see this, idler pulley right there. I was able to slide it directly on that because it's got a smooth surface. It's much easier than to try to go around any of these loads. Okay, so now I'm going to use a 15 mil ratcheting wrench, just to make my life a little easier, to tighten up this middle nut to push the idler closer to the engine. And once you get that tightened down, the uh, 13 mil bolt that's up there 
needs to be tightened down. And you want to have, you know, about a quarter of an inch slack on the belt. Because if it's too tight, it'll squeal. If it's too loose, it'll squeal and it'll fall off. Okay, so I got everything tightened, looked over. Let's go fire her up and see if she squeals, makes any other noises. Okay, there's no battery light. No other lights I should be worried about. Don't hear any squealing. So that's good. Everything looks smooth. Get a little gas. Perfect, there you have it guys. That's how you change both belts on a Dodge Intrepid with the 2.7 liter V6. Hit that like button.